When I first came to Cambodia in 1998, uh, at the end of my first week here, uh, I saw a country that was extremely poverty stricken, totally devastated without infrastructure. It had just crawled out from under 30 years of war. You know, people think that the American uh, war in Vietnam ended in 1975, uh, but for the war here in Cambodia, it continued until 1998. And so the, the peace had really just begun when I arrived and there, was, there were no roads, there were no bridges, the schools were dysfunctional if they were even existing at all. Hospitals had been destroyed. Uh, the country was uh, just about as devastated as you could make any place and still have human life. This is Pawn, he works for Paul Moak in the tractor factory here and he's a welder. He studied at the Don Bosco Technical School, but he and his nine brothers uh, were destitute, living on the street, and the oldest brother, that's now the, the music teacher for the entire center, uh, was driving a sicklo, which is a pedicab, to try to feed a family of 10. And uh, they were starving to death. And Peter, you're the one that, that met him, uh, actually got a taxi ride from him, from the older brother, and he was telling about his plight, and you brought all the whole family uh, into the orphan home. Like a pawnbroker. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, just think about being a survivor, where you basically have one half of the people that were victimized by the remaining half, and you don't know whether the guy that you go out and, and hire to take you on your little motorbike taxi to the market in the morning might not be the one that killed your mother, your father, your child. Just think what that would do to things like compassion or, or even uh, simple uh, human joy. And these people were, were empty shells. And when you talked to them about a God that loved, accept, accepted, and forgave them and would give them a new start, they're very anxious to receive that. You see, the problem was that when they take their Buddhist culture, which says you, you, you will receive what you deserve, uh, and they looked at their lives, they all suffered from one of two things, and oftentimes it was both. And that was one, they were so full of bitterness over what was done to them, they could trust, love, and forgive no one. 